What's going on guys? I want to start this video off different. I want to talk to you about projects and building something on the cheap because this channel here is all about building something on the cheap with junkyard, junk parts that you just find around anywhere. With that said, when you're building something that's on the cheap, there's always going to be issues, just like with this situation with a turbo here. Now, when you buy a turbo or you purchase a turbo used, you don't even know the condition of the turbo, what size of the turbo, and everything else. And then a lot of times you have clutch issues, driveline issues, and also positioning of whatever you are customizing. Those are always some issues. So let's get to the intro and show you the pitfalls of this project. Yo, welcome back to the BST4 channel. We know what's going on, what's happening, man? This turbo situation is coming out pretty cool, but I'm, I'm kind of stumped at the moment. Radiator hose, see it right there? Now, the whole premise of me was going to go down and go across. Now, you know, this has the little oil cooler on it and everything like that. That's what makes it a little bit more difficult. So, we're not even going to touch on that. So, what we're starting to do is we're starting to mess with the OSS system. Now this is the one that came off of this transmission here. So on the left side there's a plus and on the right side there's a minus. So that side we have to keep there. Now this is the pigtail that I got and I labeled it plus minus and it goes on like this one way. All right. Now we go over here to our automatic thing here and right here we have plus on the left minus on the right. Now we have did this right here with everything and we got it labeled. Now we just have to transfer this to over here and then after that I went up and picked up this standard part right here SC468 that is going to be for um, the transmission if you do have it on your 5 speed that you pick up. Mine was broken as you can see and that's what we're going to be doing. So we got the wire soldered up, everything is good, but I'm not going to install this harness just yet because I got a lot more other small things to deal with. Like this turbo situation here. Now this inlet, it's going to be a situation, this is a 3 inch pipe. Now this opening looks more so for a 4 inch if you sandwich it down and it doesn't quite fit the build. Now you can go ahead and tack weld and then make it and make it work but I need something that's a little bit more close. So that is on the hold. Now we go ahead to the turbo situation here too now. Now see these bolts here. I've been having a hard time. Now for the most cases you guys look at it and said hey this is not the right one because of the way it looks and you're quite right. Holes don't even match up anyway. Then went and I found this again holes do not match up now you guys may sit there and say there is something on the internet that fits this well I measured from here to here and here to here everything on the internet is about too big it doesn't fit so last night I started sitting there figuring kids were over all my kids was there went and got some pizza right after that opened up that pizza box and I started making a template now the template I came up with was pretty decent and I made two this is the worst of the two the good one is in the house we're going to make our own joint all the bolt holes line up but now we have a situation where we got to make it as thick as this now it's going to be very difficult for me to cut but I'm going to make it happen because I have no choice so now I'm going to switch gears to the Maverick I have a situation with that um I don't know what they call it JDM we call it a tension rod and it is bent to crap. So heat it up, bend it back, and then figure out some other stuff with the Maverick, and then come back to this and figure out what is the final solution to this situation here. All right, man, we, um, we bent it back. I mean, I skip a lot of scenes. I, did, I was really hammering it. Some of the scenes you've seen, that's when they're a little finalizing, but for the most part, oh yeah, man, I banged the crap out of it. But we're gonna go install it in the Maverick and see what it looked like. Let's see, we go in these little holes over here. So that's in. Let's see. See that thing? It's, it's legit. All you do is move it back a little bit. And that's right. 
before it was all bent and everything. So we're pretty good with that. Also too with this Maverick had a situation where this wouldn't even go up as far as that due to that little bend there. So I had to uh, cut a groove inside of that top if you can see right there. And everything is pretty much a go. I do have the springs uh, sitting right here. Let's say lowers around two inches, which they ain't bull crap, and I got that. Waiting on the shocks. I want to get all of that stuff situated, and then I want to install a few other things. To keep you guys up to speed on the situation, we have made a thin metal template for the turbo outlet, which is good. I like that. We still have an issue with this that we need to address and now the drive shaft we have the issue when you're putting in the five speed you're going to need a spacer if you're using your stock p71 drive shaft now this is 5 8 thick it works for 3 8 to 5 8 no issue but the issue is is that it's too the circumference is too small it fits in here it's nice and snug but it's just too small as you can see so we need another one of those. We need to fix this and we need to figure that out. Now, we need to go ahead and figure out this situation here and make sure this works. I had a major fail. First of all, I had to change this. You've seen that in the other video. But also too, when I installed this clutch pedal from a 240SX, you gotta remember the thicknesses that you gotta deal with between the walls. If you remember the 240SX pedal has a little stump on it, if you guys who know that. I had to basically cut off around this much off of this edge here because it was hitting the clutch pedal arm so i definitely had to cut off a piece of that before you start even doing this you need to bleed the clutch master now when you bleed the clutch master you're straight now we came up with a situation with the clutch master like i showed you i had to cut a piece off because it was hitching against um the clutch pedal arm which leaves um the clutch master open so when i was trying to bleed it just wasn't bleeding properly and i thought i had a bad clutch master knowing i did everything properly i had to double check triple check quadruple check and say you know what let's cut this arm now along with that i had got a fitting for here and also i had got a um, fitting from over here and up here um if it was long enough i could have probably put it straight through but i thought this would look a lot better underneath because I just I spent a lot of time doing this before I even start doing this project now for the moment of truth to see if this thing even moves thank goodness it does work now we to really know if this thing really works we have to put a drive shaft in it we have to put it back down on four tires and then really really check and see if this thing really moves and the clutch works properly right now we're going by sight it looks good but we really don't know so that is a go for that but still in all we have to still put the car on all fours to really figure it out now to recap we need to get this situated we need to get this situated and we need to get this right once we get these three things right then we can crank the car up and see what's going on with it and everything else but we have to double check and triple check everything underneath before we do so so man thank you guys for watching this episode of build something tv hope you guys were enlightened because i was enlightened even though i had a lot of fails i learned something because each failure you do learn something and you can progress it's not really a failure then most cases it was just hey look it's a learning curve i was uncomfortable and being uncomfortable sh means that you're progressing when you're too comfortable you're too relaxed and you will make mistakes being really too comfortable. We'll see you guys on the flip side where we'll be talking about more about this um, T5 Trans that came out of a V6 um, Mustang that we're going to install on the 302 for this car here. So we're getting everything underway, but we just got to piece everything together. Everything takes a while to do. And we need the 164 tooth flywheel and we need the starter to match that flywheel so we'll see you guys on the flip side see ya